so I figured, oh, hello, it's Sarah. I figured I'd film a little bit of this and see how it goes. I'm going to do this tiny little bottle. Um, these are the bigger ones, so you can see the difference. But I've already made a little uh, cap for this one, and um, I was playing with my stamps, and I made a hope piece of clay there. So I'm just going to put flowers around it, but I wanted to show you. <clears throat> I'm going to keep the, I've rolled the clay out into a little snake here. And um, maybe go down a little bit. I could learn, know how to work my camera. I don't like zooming. You know I don't. And with the way I do it, I just uh, take a little piece off and kind of roll it as I go to make little circles of clay. And because this bottle is so small, I really wanted to keep the flowers petite, but it is hard for me to make things small. I am a bigger, I go big or I go home. I'm like in. But anyway, so I think I'm going to just do this in pinks and whites. I have this dirty white that I've been using for, see, it's just got, white gets contaminated really easily, so, um, that's kind of why, but it's it's like the, the very lightest of pinks then, you know what I mean? So basically, it'll still look white, but this bead, that's what I'm playing off of. This is pink and white and green, so I'm going to put the flowers on this bottle, and I'll use gold. I used gold clay, and I already put um, the mica powder on there, the perfect pearls. That's what this is. Um... So let's see how this goes. I'm going to um, have to, let me think if I can move the camera. I'm going to try and hold this. I use my little uh, stylus to make the center. So I think I'm going to make a flower here. So you just make a little indentation where you want to put your flower. And I'll put one there. They're very even. I don't like it that even. I'll put one over here and over here. Maybe this is going to be a very even bottle. And these didn't come out as tiny as I'd hoped, but then I basically, I don't think I have a, a toothpick handy, so I'm going to have to find one. I didn't realize that before I got started. And I kind of just roll them before I place them, but I place, I'll place, sometimes I place the whole flower before I, um, and I'm holding the bottle on the top and bottom to keep from getting it all squished. But, uh, I just usually place them near about where I want to go with it. Usually, uh, five, six, seven petals sometimes. So how many do I have there? I have six. And then once I start doing the um, petals, I'm looking for, oh, they stayed on. Here, I got a toothpick. So once I start um, doing it, we'll see how they fit. So I just take the toothpick, kind of point it and push. To create a petal, I try to keep them spaced the same. It's just pressure and pushing. And you can roll them into place. My battery's blinking, of course. And so that's the basic idea. <laughs> then, oopsie. Then I'll try and I'm um, have the, the dropsies. I think I'm going to put, I want to make the centers gold, I guess, because I've already used the gold. And you just roll this up like this with your fingers. And I have this cool cutter. This is a, um, a tool that I got from um, Christy Friesen. I have some stainless steel uh, tools that I bought. Then I stick that in the center. And then I like to use, this is actually a Sculpey tool, but I like the size of this tip. And I can make a little indent in the center of it. Kind of looks cool. 
All right, so I'm going to um, go ahead and position my second one till my battery runs out. And then I'll, I'll probably come back and show you how I do the leaves and the um, stems. But this is very small pieces of clay. So it's nice because you don't need a lot of clay. I'll show you actually what I have out is scraps. So there's six petals there. So we'll play with that one. Find my toothpick. And I just take it and this is kind of obl oh, do a different one. Push it in. Let the tip of the the base go in and the tip stay up kinda. So they have a little bit of a dimensional look. And this also gets them adhered to the clay. See that one I kind of went really low. And it's this part of the, the petal. I wouldn't, I don't prefer it that. I'm only going to put five on this one. So they look different. So let's cut another center. And roll it up and put it in the center and use that little I'm sure I could use the other end of this toothpick but I'm just going to keep them consistent and use the same tool but you guys don't need these fancy tools so there's two then you know what I can do uh, I have to get the green but I wanted to show you this is all the clay I have out right now just scraps so um it's nice that way. Like this is all the green. I'm going to use the green to um, make the leaves and the stems. And I just got to warm it up a little bit with my hands. <coughs> Move those out of the way. <coughs> I have a couple of ATCs there too. I'm going to play with too. I was thinking I'm going to make some clay ATCs and make a board like um, it's called a, a printer's tray type thing. I'm going to put, um, Miss D did one with her burlap ATCs that she made and it gave me the idea to um, do that with these because they are little works of art and um, you know if you don't put them out they're just in a binder or something you don't really get to enjoy them so we'll see how that goes now I'm getting this thinner because this is how I make my swirlies with a really thin piece so I'll cut that there but then the um, the leaves are going to be a bit bigger so I'll use this end and again I roll these into little balls as I cut and these may actually be kind of rolled into a teardrop when I get to putting them on here. And I'll show you what I mean by that. All right, so let's see if I can zoom in again. I just take and kind of roll it. Oops, that didn't work very well like that. So now it looks like a little kind of a pear shape. And then I just set the pear where I think I like it. And you do the same thing with the toothpick, but you kind of see how that looks like a leaf? Do the same thing. Make it a little longer. This is real skinny, but it'll still turn out cute. See? And then if the tips stick up, you can even bend them like that and make it like have more dimension. I'm going to put another flower there. But we'll put a couple leaves on this guy. These are fatter wads of clay, so these are going to be bigger leaves. See how long it is? But you just use the whole toothpick. This is a little smaller. I'm going to use this one. Okay, 
Okay, so that was 10 minutes too. And I changed my battery, so I'm gonna put a couple more leaves on here. Put a little smaller one. And it's nice if you really push hard, it like overlaps on itself, so it kinda, it gives it that more of a realistic, yeah, as realistic as it gets. Um, I'm just gonna put a little one over here. All right, so this is it. I mean, it's these tiny little pieces of clay. And, all right, I'll set that down. Um, I don't really have much to say today. I'm just doing this. So you can see what I'm doing. I'll cut another piece for the center. And another center because I'm gonna do two. Do I have enough clay for two? <clears throat> Now I wanted to show you a swirly. I really don't know where I'm putting it. This is kind of, um, it's the smallest bottle I've done. But, it's the same thing. Look at that, I picked up all of them. Okay. Oops. So again, you push down in the front and may try to lift up in the back so that the pedal doesn't get distorted. And see that one went way into the center, but that's okay. And that. I'll put a leaf right here kind of take up that gap. See, and they're, the bottle's so small, they're practically going to connect in the back. I, I think I'll put one more up top. And I was thinking if this were used as a bottle of hope, you could put your message in there and seal it up and glue the lid in, glue the cork in, and then it could be a little pendant too. So I don't know, I might try to do that. So this is, you can move the little ball of clay where you want it before you push and then push. Very simple. And I've done my centers differently. I kind of like these. These are cool with the little um, hole in the middle. Put a couple of leaves there. Roll it, kind of try and make it into a teardrop. I was trying to get this little, I think it's in the clay. And you try and hold the bottle with the top and the bottom so you don't squish everything. It happens though, definitely. This is a tiny little piece of green, but I'll put it right here and see if I can make that into a little green leaf. I put one over here hopefully you can see me pretty good it's getting a little distorted down here my squareness <clears throat> but 
we're good. So here's what I would do for a swirly. Let me get warm. I'm at five minutes, so take this uh, green little snake I made. It's real thin, real thin. And let's see, I think I'm gonna do it up here. So I like to start in the middle of the swirly. It's gonna be hard with my fin big fingers in the way. And start the center and then use the actual clay to pull it in the shape you want it and then tap as you get it where you like it. I kinda want it to go between those two Take my blade and just cut, kind of push. So that adds a cute little swirly. I, I really think they add a lot of sweetness. So then I'm going to try and do another one kind of up above this side. So I just set that center down. And then you just use the clay and oh, I'm sure my hand is in the shot. Oh, I like this. This is going to be good. And you, you know, sometimes you don't, the direction changes on you from what you thought it would be. But I'm going to put this right down to here because you can always add a little bud there or so that's staying there, and you push down, give it a little push, because um, it is round. I don't love how that's looking. There we go. Um, so those are the swirlies like it. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of a darker um, mica powder to the hope because I don't think it's uh, showing up as much as I'd like. Um, I'm going to put the lip of the bottle on too. So let's put one more flower right up here. I don't have that many pinks. So I'm gonna go away and come back when that's done and show you how I put the mica powders on. Okay, so I'm just about done. I have Finish the flower in the back, put a little swirly on it, and a leaf. Um, so I think that's good for all my pink flowers. I'm going to add a little, um, oh man, I can't think of her name, but the one tutorial that I saw, she called them flyaways, and I like the idea of that, but little petals that are kind of just blowing in the breeze in the background is what I um, kind of perceive them to be. Then you can also kind of make little buds, like three petaled buds that are coming off of the, um, the swirlies. And there's where I'm gonna add my white. So I kind of filled up the piece with all the pink, but I'm gonna add a couple of these little buds and I'm also going to show you how I add the, um, the lip of the bottle. So you can do as few or as many petals of these. I usually do three. Um, I'm going to do the two first. One, two, and then I stick this one right in the center. So it's kind of like a little bud almost. <laughs> But you also can just put them kind of randomly behind another flower, 
like they're just little flyaways. That's what I like to call them. So I'm going to add a few of those. I'm sure I could just stick another flower kind of coming from the bottom. That is a big petal. They're big. But it's okay. I like them. And I think I'm going to do a bud or something right here. Maybe I'll just do one. That looks good. I don't want to make it too much. Um, all right, for now I'm going to leave that and I'm going to show you how I do the neck of the bottle. I've, cut, I've put this through my pasta machine. Uh, I think it's around a setting five. And I'm just going to cut a piece about the width of this piece of glass. So it's, it's pretty small. Um, I, I'm going to squish it down so if, it, if it's small, that's too small. Is that a little too small? That's better. Hold the bottle gently because I don't want to squish all my flowers. But I'm just going to evenly run this along the top. Oh, and it doesn't reach. Doggone it, Sarah, you're not ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and squish it, roll it kind of into a long, an elongated shape. Then when I put it through the pasta machine, it'll be longer. That'll give me plenty of um, clay. Just cut the shape again about this wide. <clears throat> cut it even. And again, line it up with the top of the bottle. And just press and it'll stick. Go around the whole top evenly. And then when I get to the end, just kind of line it up and use my blade. Then you can just kind of start pinching, pushing and pinching and squeezing it to the edge like this. And it gives it that nice lip. It doesn't stay completely even, but it's definitely, it looks more um, like a bottle than I used to do it. So that's it. I mean, that's pretty much on there. And you can clean it up if you want. Good. And I've definitely squished my hope now. <laughs> I think I want to add a few things in the blank spots and then I'll come back after I baked it. Oh, actually, no, I wanted to show you the mica powders. So, I'm going to get my brighter blue. I have these, um, these are perfect pearls, but I also have, these are um, Pearl X. So this is a much more purpley blue. I think I'm going to use that one for the Hope. Let's see. Oh, I like this one. I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to use my finger. For hope but I am going to put a little bit on the background as well so I'm just going to use what's in the lid first and just there now it's going to show up I don't want to touch my flowers but that makes the word pop so that's what I wanted to do. Then I actually will use a brush. I guess I'll show you. See, I touched the um, petals a little. I don't want to touch the petals as best I can. And it's hard because the more you touch it, the more squishy you get it. So I just have this little brush that I wasn't using for painting anymore. And I just take a little on, my, on the tip of the brush and then put it in the lid and kind of mush it into the bristles a little. And I'm just going to touch it. Um, I don't want to touch it where I don't, where I want to put clay because I, 
still want to put a few things of clay but I'll do this um, rim and that way when I bake it it's going to have a little shine to it so you can kind of see that yeah you can see that shining oh yeah so I'm going to finish up and I'll be back when it's baked okay so the bottle's all done I'm going to try and zoom a little bit <coughs> And I like it. I think it's not too um, busy for such a little bottle because I would tend to do that. Um, let me turn it this way, the camera. Um, the hope turned out nice and it pops is what I'm saying. I think it definitely has to do with the color of clay that I used. And I used the gold because I used gold centers on my flowers. And I did get some of the blue, obviously, on the um, the mica powder, the blue mica powder on the petals of the flowers, so it distorts the color. Purple, red and blue make purple, so I have a couple purple petals, but that's okay. And all I did was put a made with love on top. And I'll sign the bottom. So that's it, guys. That's how simple it is. Um, I love them. They're just adorable. I mean, that didn't take very long. Um, so I might come back and do um, an ATC tutorial as well because people have been asking about that. And while I'm making them, uh, I might as well. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.